Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The quote of the day is: Be aware of your own worth. Use all of your power to achieve it. Create an ocean from a dewdrop. Do not beg for light from the moon. Obtain it from the spark within you. A famous quote by our poet Muhammad Iqbal. So today the topic of my presentation is population pyramid under the kind supervision of Professor Dr. Sai Rafsar. The learning outlines of today's presentation is. what is the population pyramid what information can we get from the population pyramid how it helped the government in policy making which is type of population pyramids with examples and at the end are the mcqs now the learning objectives are introduction to the population pyramid information provided by the population pyramid how it helped governments to formulate policies various types of population pyramids with examples now what is the population pyramid it is a graphical representation of age and sex composition of a specific population the age and sex structure of the population determines the ultimate shape of a population pyramid now how, how the data is organized in the population pyramid in population pyramid the size of the population under investigation is depicted on the horizontal axis and age is aligned on the vertical axis as shown in the diagram the horizontal row in the horizontal rows the number of population are the percentage of the specific population is demonstrated while on the y axis this this is the age now the slope of the pyramid indicate the health rate while the width of the base is related to the birth rate the area of the graph indicates total population precisely based on age group or the sex height of the graph can indicate life expectancy while the next indicate reductions in birth rate or increase in death rate in the past the sum of age sex groups equals the 100% of uh, the population the result is a series of bars stacked on top of one another each representing an age category uh, typically it is in five year age groups uh, while sometimes it can be in four or three with the youngest age group is represented at the bottom and the oldest one is at the top one the horizontal length of each bar represents the number of individuals in the specific age group for the population depicted the age groups that correspond to each bar are displayed along the central axis or along one side or both sides of the graph often the years of birth for each age category are also displayed on the graph to maintain proportionality the age groups are the same size for example uh, it can be one year or five year or 10 year age groups and the bars are all of equal heights in population pyramid uh, an additional information can also be added like it is intended for comparison uh, should be drawn to the same scale and should depict the same age category the population pyramid can be used to represent additional characteristics of a population such as marital status race or geographical location in the case of the bar for each age sex group is further sub uh, subdivided to present the additional categories the formatting system used to depict the additional categories should be applied consistently throughout the graph and the same sequence should be used on either side of the vertical axis in mirror image form for example if race is depicted and the categories are white black and other the categories would be arranged in the same sequence for males and females working outward from each side of the central axis now the information that is provided by the population uh, pyramid are a sex distribution of a population sex ratio birth rate women's of the reproductive age fertility rate past and future trends of the population uh, and the demographic transition dependency ratio uh, dependency ratio can be calculated from the population pyramid uh, uh, by subtracting the population from 16 years onwards to 60 years the population below 16 and above the 60 years of age uh, are the dependency population median age of population by sex can also be calculated mortality level by age and sex migration trend uh, can be depicted in the population pyramid and the calamities that are maybe natural and man made such as earthquake famine epidemics and war and the health status of a population now there are three shapes of the population pyramids that are expansive constructive and stationary they are discussed one by one now first one is the expansive population pyramid expansive population pyramid are used to describe populations that are young and growing they are often characterized by their typical pyramidal in shape which has a broad base and narrow bottom 
and narrow top as shown in the figure it has a um, broad base and narrow bottom expensive population pyramids show a larger percentage of the population in the younger age cohorts usually with each age cohort smaller in size than the one below it these type of populations are typically representative of developing nations whose populations often have high fertility rates and high mortality are lower than every life expectancy for example kenya has a has a population pyramid like this now the constructive population pyramid constructive population pyramids are used to describe populations that are elderly and shrinking constructive uh, constructive pyramid can often look like beehives and typically have an inverted shape with the graph trapping at the bottom constructive pyramids have smaller percentages of people in the younger age cohorts and are typically characteristic of countries with high levels of social and economic development where access to quality education and health care is available to a large portion of population and have lower mortality rate and fertility rate remains constant for example this constructive population pyramid is depicted from the germany on the stationary population pyramid stationary or near station population pyramid are used to describe populations that are not growing they are characterized by their rectangular shape displaying somewhat equal percentages of across age cohorts that taper off toward the top these pyramids are often characterized of developed countries their birth rates are low and overall quality of life is high low mortality and low fertility rates these population pyramids represent a stable population that will not uh, change significantly bearing any sudden changes to fertility or mortality rate for example uh, united states of america has this type of population pyramid now the interpretations of population pyramid if a population pyramid is given which uh, informations we can interpret from this population pyramid population pyramids are useful for studying the future of a region as well as examining historical and current population trends in part of the population if part of a population has been affected by sudden changes such as casualties from armed conflict high female mortality in childbirth or the migration of young workers out of proper regions the graph will offer a way to visualize how the future population will be affected For instance, estimation of job opportunities in future can be concluded by analyzing the population trend. Similarly, the need of housing, education, and food production in future is speculated according to age structure shown by the population pyramid graph. Now, the assessment of population pyramid: Does a country require more old age homes, or a number of schools have to be increased? This can be assessed by the population pyramid. and are the medical services and health care to be improved for aged or is the population be incentivized to encourage more births these questions hold impact over the socio economic well being of the country assessment of population pyramid can help in reaching out the solution to these questions <coughs> these graphs helps in distinguishing young dependents old dependents and working population as a part of policy making this graph makes it, uh, it easy to understand the comparison between developed and developing nation for making decision related to the policies for future a critical thinking and sufficient knowledge of population age structure is being provided by these pyramid graphs the shape of pyramid can trace the past trend and also indicate the potential for future development they can also help direct government and private industry distribution for services of regions based on population needs now the irregular variations in the population pyramid irregular variations in the length of birth of the pyramid point to past sharp fluctuations in the number of births are in the volume of migration it may also reflect a temporary rise in the number of deaths resulting from wars or epidemic large scale deaths due to war epidemic diseases natural calamity etc are likely to cause a dent in the shape of the pyramid A sizable proportion of migration also causes a dent, but the shape of dent depends upon the net losses and gains. If there are losses of the population, then the shape would be concave, and if there are gains in the population, the uh, shape of the population pyramid will be convex. Type. Here is the population pyramid of a UAE, where the bar uh, where the bar in the middle of the upper part of the pyramid is excessively long or short it denotes heavy immigration or the immigration of the people within the age group 
either in recent years or of the younger uh, people in the same age group at an earlier time for example in united arab emirates this is the proportion pyramid of united arab emirates it has a dent in its uh, on its right side which indicates high immigration of the uh, male population in uae in the ages uh, between the 20 to 60 years now this is the popular population pyramid of uh, japan population pyramid of japan shows a number of irregularities which may be explained by fluctuations in the number of births and deaths caused by the world war 2 this in the, uh, the population pyramid of uh, japan is narrow in the bottom while it is broad in the at the top as shown in the figure in the uh, that the uh, uh, ages of 60 and to 80 are are broad there are more people in japan that are elderly so it is a, has a huge effect on the government of uh, japan because many of the uh, and many of the depend depend there are many de dependent dependency ratio in japan and they have to and the government of japan has to expense more budget on their healthcare delivery for the elderly and and their old homes this is the population pyramid of uh, china there is a explosion of uh, the population in china in uh, in 1970s so in 1970 china government has lined up uh, one uh, one child policy after which there is decline in the population growth of the china but uh, in uh, 2015 the china again lift the policy for one uh, one child policy um, uh, by lifting the policy there is uh, again the increase in the population growth because china has facing um, many population which can work efficiently because uh, in uh, labor more 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 than 60 years of age are uh, are coming and they are not useful for the labor work now the time for the mcqs first mcq is in a country xyz there are many children per parent how will be the population pyramid of that country whether it has a narrow base and young median age population or whether it has a broad base and young median age population or a narrow top and elderly median age population or a broad top and elderly elderly median age population which one is the correct option b yes b is the uh, correct option because if there are uh, if the growth rate is large then the population pyramid will have a broad base and as well as the young population will be more this is the population pyramid of qatar of 2021 there is an obvious convexity on the right side of the pyramid how will you interpret uh, interpret this convexity whether it is sudden decrease in the fertility rate or the female gender mutilation increase male immigrants for work or better health facilities provided to the males for the yes the convexity in this figure indicates the increased male in, uh, immigrants for work because this is for these age groups are from 16 to 60 years of age and not on the female side in a country xyz where there is a high fertility and high mortality the population pyramid will be of which shape whether it is a b c or d any guess regarding a is yes a is the uh, correct option because uh, high fertility will have a a broad base and high mortality will have a narrow top so a is the correct option for the country where there is a high fertility and high mortality the population pyramid of uh, pakistan is like what do you think what is the which is the population pyramid a. of pakistan yes a. a is the population pyramid of pakistan the population pyramid uh, of india shows more lengthy horizontal bars on the right side as compared to the left side how will you interpret this as you know figure the a, if we take some age group the right side uh, horizontal bars are much longer as compared to the 
left side these are for the males and these are for the females how will you interpret this whether in india females are more involved in risky works or in india females prefer to work in foreign countries or in fetus male gender rejection or whether female gender mutilation in india d yes d is the correct option because in india female ratio is great uh, female ratio is less as compared to males because of the female gender mutilations in certain areas of india the population pyramid is not useful for for governments for assessing the women in childbearing reproductive age for dependency ratio or for migration trend or for the wealth of a nation which one is not useful for the government or for the population pyramid d yes d is the right option russia has a population pyramid which is narrow in top and bottom but wide in the middle what does this indicate whether it has high dependency ratio low dependency ratio growing fertility rate or population is increasing low dependency ratio yes low dependency ratio because if the population pyramid is uh, narrow in the top and bottom the uh, uh, the and the and broad in the middle then the dependency ratio will be low a developed country like united kingdom has a population pyramid of which shape d d yes b is the right option because the developed countries have a constant population over the time the population pyramid of japan is broad in the top which step does the japanese government should take regarding this concern no need whether no need to build their old homes to replace the already built old homes to devi nursing centers or to build more old homes or to construct more schools and colleges which step should the japanese government to take as the uh, population pyramid of japan is broad at the uh, top it means that there is more elderly population in the japan so the japanese government should uh, have to take the steps for uh, to take care of their elderly so they have to build more old homes c is the right option last time cq is the population pyramid of kenya is broad at the bottom the government of kenya need know to take the following step regarding this concern whether they have uh, to health education for family planning health education uh, for the use of contraception health education for birth placing or health education for smoking cessation which step should the kenya government should not have to take as there is a broad uh, as the population pyramid of kenya is broad at the bottom is means that there is a high fertility rate or the growth rate of the kenya so the government of kenya should have to decrease its growth rate uh, to decrease it, its growth rate health education for family planning uh, contraception and bus passing is needed while smoking cessation is not necessary so d is the right option this is the references of my presentation and thank you very much